Hello, it's time for the weekly check-in, as promised, beginning last Tuesday. So here I am, second week. Welcome. <laughs> and I just have to tell you that I really think that this is working um, for me uh, in my mind. So I mentioned last week how I wanted this to be um, something that possibly offered some inspiration for you, that maybe gave you some tips along the way, um, shows you a behind the scenes glimpse of the creative entrepreneur stuff, of trying to keep up with your creative practice, along with the life stuff and how we kind of harmonize all that. Um, and also, selfishly, I need it to be accountable myself. And um, knowing that I'm going to show up to these check-ins once a week helps me do that. And, and it's working. So last Tuesday, I knew I was going to do that at the end of the day. So I spent the whole day in the studio, right? I felt great. And even after I made the video and posted it, I spent a few more hours in the studio. And even though I had all kinds of work to do, and I knew my emails were kind of piling up and that sort of thing, um, I, I didn't go there, just didn't go there. Just stayed in my studio doing what I was doing. And then when I woke up on Wednesday, I was so excited to get back to my projects, to my work. And, and that's the thing, I happen to be very blessed um, as a creative entrepreneur. I love the work that I do, but I don't love doing it 100% of the time. So, um, and I, I'm an artist, and so as an artist, we have to get to our creative practice, right? We have to make our art, and we have to make space and time for that. The other thing that I noticed, not only did it help me get there, is that when Friday rolled along, and I think I told you Friday's my second uh, scheduled in studio day of the week, so I work my booty off on Wednesdays and Thursdays, and then Fridays I'm going to have another studio day. Friday came along, and I had to do a little bit of work in the morning, hour, maybe two, but then I was so excited again, and I spent the whole day in the studio again. So finishing up things I started Tuesday, cleaning out some old stuff that needed to be taken care of. Um, you know, because there's a lot more that goes into making our art than just putting the paint on the canvas or the paper or what have you, right? So, But I spent the whole day in the studio again listening to music. I felt great. And of course I worked a little on the weekend because I have a lot of projects happening. But the thing is, is that when we creative types, and we're all creative types, but some of us lean a little, little more that way. When those of us with really high creative energy uh, really make and take the time and, and find the space to get to our creative practice, at least in my experience, I become more productive in everything else. I become, my energy becomes focused more. Um, I know that, okay, this whole day I'm gonna be making art and that means all day tomorrow I really have to buckle down and do the things I gotta do. Or like on Thursday, I really gotta buckle down and get this stuff done because I'm not gonna do it tomorrow because tomorrow is an art making day. So energy becomes super focused. I become more productive, less scatterbrained. I don't seem to, to lose a sense of time. Um, you know, hours don't kind of slip away, which can happen sometimes, at least for me, when I'm really, when I'm not giving myself a container for my creative practice. So I wanted to just mention that to you because maybe you're like that too. Maybe having the container helps. That being said, I'm also uh, quite a rebel, and if the container gets too strict, um, I don't like that either, and I'm going to like put up my dukes and, you know, we're going to have it out, um, I will resist it as completely as possible. So there has to be a container with some flexibility for my own autonomy to come in and, um, and decide, you know, and to check in. Is, is this the right container to work with today? How's it working this week? You know, maybe check in once a month even. How is this? How's this feeling? So for now, these Tuesday check-ins are feeling really good. Um, Tuesdays and Fridays as studio days feels really good. This past week I made more art, I did more art journaling, and I also really like got a lot of things done as far as the creative business end of things goes with the project management that I do um, in particular with and, and also some mentoring work. And so all of that really seemed to move along beautifully. Um, edited videos, yeah. So feeling good about that, and I wonder if you do too. I wonder if that's how it works for you. That, and then also it wasn't just that. I also, you know, I got out into uh, the woods to take my walks more. You know, good stuff. But today there's this funny thing that happens. Um, it, you know, so like last week in the studio, I, I really wanted to listen to audible books. You know, like audio books, and I do that sometimes. I really like hearing. Um, 
and other things on spirituality, sometimes stories. And um, today, however, different than last week, I came in and what I really wanted to do was to just listen to music. So I put in music and it had a whole different energy and it really suited what I needed to do today, which was it's kind of like an experiment day in the studio. I was trying out different materials. I was um, cleaning out some stuff. I was finishing up some small things that weren't completed for a long time. Um, I was just kind of moving things around and working on a bunch of different things at once as far as my art goes. And so that was fun. Doing, I was practicing with like some gel medium transfers on some different materials. And Oh, and the other thing, I wanted to tell you this. I've been kind of resisting my one art journal that I've been carrying around lately. And I really like it. I don't know why I'm resisting it exactly, but I figured out part of it and I found a fix today. So this is a Strathmore soft bound um, mixed media journal. They're not very easy to find, but you can find them online um, at times. I'll see if I can put the link for you guys. Uh, nice thick paper. They also have a watercolor version. Um, I like it. What I didn't like about it, what I miss about my other style, which this is not a moleskin, but it's a travel log right? Uh, they're like a moleskin. I'm not sure if the paper's similar because I've never actually had a moleskin. But I love the rounded edges. I love those corners, the rounded corners. They're so beautiful in pictures. And this one, the Strathmore one, has sharp corners, right? I did not like that. I really wanted my little one back, you know? I was like whining. I really wanted to work on my pages, right? Kind of funny, really. But, um, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Today I came in the studio and was like, you know what I'm going to do? Soft bound book. I'm going to round those corners because I got me a little corner rounder, right? So that's what I started to do today. Rounding those corners. Look, I got one corner done. I've got to finish the other corner. But isn't that nice? I love it. So now the corners are not getting all bent and funky. I don't really get too worried about that, but I just love the look and feel of that rounded corner. So that's my little studio fix for you today. Um, all right, so experiments in the studio today. I spilt tea all over my work table at one point. That took a while, and then I felt funky, right? Because I was like, oh, irritated. Um, but worked through that, and what else is happening? Oh, 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 I did a study today, an abstract study, and something I've been playing with um, recently, which helps keep me loose in the painting practice, is I pick the brush I want to use, put colors on my palette, and then I put that brush back, and then I pick a size bigger. So this really keeps me from trying to get in there and do like detail work like I think I might do on a paint, painting. Really keeps me loose. So pick the brush you want, put it back, pick a size bigger and work with that one and see how it works for you and what you learn about the paint. And I'm finding a real juiciness to kind of the thick quality of paint and learning how to work with that over trying to control the brush marks and the brush lines. Um, feels exciting to me right now. So that's something I did in the studio today too. Um, oh, and this week also, I had one of those moments where I remembered something important that maybe you need to remember too and something in your life. And I was just, I have one of these projects that's coming up and I just, there was something I couldn't shake. It just wasn't, I've got it kind of planned out and outlined and, and lots of things to do and people to connect with about it. And but there was something I couldn't shake that just it felt kind of heavy. And couldn't figure out what it is. And I am the creative type that needs to brew. And I know that about myself now. So I give myself that space to percolate. And and it hit me yesterday, actually. It hit me. And I, I don't know why I didn't think of it before. But really, I just needed to change my calendar with that project. I just needed to give myself a little bit longer to work on it than the time that I was telling myself, just myself, nobody else was making this deadline but me. Um, I just needed to say to myself, you know what, you made this deadline up, you can change it, right? So <laughs> what's the big deal? And so I realized that I needed to slow it all down. And I thought about it for a minute and I checked in with my body and that's what I recommend you do too, check in with your body and see how that idea feels in your body. Your body will tell you exactly what you need when you're trying to make a decision or trying to figure out why you don't feel quite right. So I checked in with my body and as I thought about changing that date to just a little bit later in the calendar year for 2015, everything just cleared and I felt so much better about it. And 
So that's what I'm doing. And, and I also found that instantly, like with the slowdown of the whole process of this project, it was like instantly I had all these creative ideas about what I could do to be more present in the projects between now and then, and to also enhance some other things that I kept putting kind of to the side between, um, you know, the things that I can work on before that project kind of launches and takes off next year. So perhaps you have something like that too, that you've created, again, too tight of a container around, and you need to give yourself that flexibility. Um, so that's what I came to this week. Slowing down helps a whole lot. Feels like a beautiful release, and I think it's directly related to making time for my creative practice this week. As I was working on that stuff and not thinking so hard to find the answer, the answer sort of came to me, and and that that's my experience of it. So so the check in this week, in my heart space, I'm feeling so much clearer because of that that slowdown for the big project, and because I've been out in nature, I've been with my practice. My body is feeling lighter every time I remind myself of this new decision that takes pressure off of the things I'm um, contributing to and creating. And in my mind feels lighter as well. I can now focus more intently on what I'm doing at the time instead of trying to multitask and manage more than one thing. Um, my energy feels, um, feels like it got a, a boost, like, yes, okay, good, this feels right. So what's been feeling juicy for me this week? is photography, all right? I've been shooting like crazy with my camera. I'm having some troubles with it, but that kind of makes it more fun for me. I like the challenge. Um, the camera itself is not functioning right, so I'm getting some interesting pictures. And and then also um, gouache paints. I've been doing studies with those. It dries really fast, so you have to do kind of quick studies with it, at least the way I'm using it, and I'm really enjoying that. And then also, um, the, the air right now is like the fall crispness is here. Oh my goodness, it's fantastic. So that feels really juicy and I'm wanting to go be outside more, which is good because one of my big resistances has been physical activity and exercise. It's like, I know I need it and I know, it, like my creative practice, I know I feel better when I do it, but I'm really dragging my feet with that right now. I'm not doing my yoga. I'm getting out to the woods a couple times a week, but it's like I just drag my feet before I get there. The minute I'm there, I feel better. Um, and then resistance was also um, around this big project that I'm really excited to do, but I couldn't figure out what it was. So that resistance has been lifted this week thankfully. And so I just want to remind you this week and encourage you to think um, on a couple things. First of all, how can you give yourself more time? How can you slow down and give yourself more time? How can you take the time that you need to be in your creative practice? Because there's, there's this thing about time that is, um, you know, it doesn't, it's like a paradox. It doesn't quite totally make sense, but taking it makes it. So when you take the time you need to nourish yourself, to nourish what energizes you and keeps your curiosity active, then you find that the time you spend on the other things in your life, it's more productive, it's more fruitful, it's more joyful. And so take the time to do what you need to do because it makes all of the time in your life count. So how can you do that? All right, I'll see you next week.